Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. This evening I rise to celebrate uh, on this International Women's Day. Uh, I want to celebrate a local in the northern Tasmanian community, uh, a kind person that contributes so much in the Tamer Valley, uh, in and around the communities of Exeter. Uh, this week we have, uh, fresh from competition in South Australia, a new world record set and Australian champion, champion in Amanda Beams. Now, I don't know many, how many people have followed the career of Amanda Beams, uh, who is a fantastic uh, competitor across a number of events, but in South Australia just this week, it was the Steel Timber Sports Australian Women's Championships, and she had what she describes as the most successful uh, co competition since it started in 2017. Um, and the reason why I rise to mention it, one is it's International Women's Day, and it's great in this week that we have someone uh, right here from Tassie, right from the Tamer Valley, who is an Australian champion, an incredible Australian champion, but this week set a world record. And I think it's notable because um, on the occasions that I've had a chance to meet with Amanda, uh, meet with her family and get to see her community, her tribe around her, she's such a beautiful person and she's so well respected, but she gives so much back. Um, I've been watching the commentary over the last few days since they've sort of journeyed in towards this competition um, that she's been setting up with her fellow competitors and since the results have been announced. And she has done nothing but over the last two or three days on social media acknowledge everyone that contributes to make it possible for her, for the people that she works with, the people in her communities, the people that prepare all her equipment, um, you know, the, the people that do the, the important things like <coughs> clean up after the event. She has just gone day on days on days about celebrating everybody else and I think that speaks to um, a really special quality in a human being and so today on International Women's Day uh, with a world record and Australian champion I want to recognise Amanda Beams and I'll just read into the record the results um, in her own words of her most successful event uh, in this still Timber Sports Australian Women's Championships uh, she was first in the underhand at 31 seconds um, that was the world record for that she earned six points she was first First in the stock saw, uh, 15.33 seconds, also six points. And second for the first time, I think she's always come in third, and she actually um, borrowed someone else's equipment. Second in the single buck, 33.71 uh, seconds, scoring five points, total of 17, which made her um, the Australian champion. And really, I think people compete in their sports, they do all the prep and they you know, prepare themselves uh, mentally, physically, uh, in terms of the technique to be able to compete. But when you're a sports person or whatever you're doing in the community and you do it with with grace, with determination, with grit. I mean, she's a gritty woman, which is amazing, but you do it in a really kind way that supports those people around you. Um, I think that's really special. So this evening, I rise to celebrate you, Amanda. Well done. And Mr Speaker, this evening um, I want to recognise one of the most beautiful elements of the Launceston and Northern Tasmanian community, and that is our creative and cultural community. Um, there's no doubt over recent weeks and months, Launceston has been recognised for so many things. We got the Aussie Town of the Year, we've got our designation for a city of gastronomy, and over the last few years it's been really tough for live performers, it's been really tough for live music, for theatre, for events. Um, the Princess Theatre was dark for so long, but dark no longer. This week, uh, and I think the um, Minister for the Arts has actually already spoken about the Tasmanian Theatre Awards, but I want to recognise um, the incredible people that we have in our community that gift us so much uh, in two particular organisations, the Launceston Players, uh, who were successful in a number of categories, uh, and in particular the Encore Theatre Company, who in submitting to the Theatre Awards um, had 13 nominations across 11 categories, ended up being successful with nine awards. Um, and I would like to congratulate and acknowledge we have um, this really incredible thing going on in our community where really little kids get involved in um, the ensemble and they get involved in supporting maybe back of house and seeing how a whole production works together right through until um, beautiful and graceful older members of our community that have, you know, gifted a life 
lifetime, both professionally and in community, uh, to theatre. And we've got some... We're really lucky, actually, that people choose to call Lonnie home. We've got some really great people um, that invest their time and their energy and their expertise into these productions. So I want to acknowledge that the Encore Theatre Company were awarded the Outstanding Production Musical Theatre for Mamma Mia. Um, it was a fantastic event. Um, led by, and I know that it always takes a team, but there often is one standout, uh, my former colleague at the City of Launceston, the incredible Deputy Mayor Danny Gibson, yeah, he was yeah. awarded the Outstanding Direction Musical Theatre Award uh, to you, Danny. Um, you give so much. It's so lovely for you to be recognised in this really special way. Yeah. Outstanding Musical Direction uh, Musical Theatre, Denise Sam and Michael Stocks. Yeah. Outstanding Choreography Musical Theatre, Michelle Withington. Now, um, this one is the one that I made a comment about and there is a whole range of people that have chosen to move into the northern Tasmanian community, but we've got some incredible people that have had international careers. Um, outstanding original costume design and musical theatre, Anthony Phillips. Um, Outstanding Lighting or Video Film Design Musical Theatre, Jason Bovard. Outstanding Sound Design Musical Theatre, Marcello Larico. Outstanding Male Supporting Performance Musical Theatre, Matt Gower. One of the things that I love uh, in, you know, whenever a performance hits the stage, you go, you know, we do this so well and it's going to be so amazing and we're going to have the best night ever. And it's like, wow, how could it get better and better all the time? But the the leads that we have, the ensembles we have, um, the talent we have in both men and women... Um, it is just incredible. That could all be professionals on a stage and have, in fact, in other parts been um, professional or semi-professional. So congratulations, Matt. And outstanding ensemble musical theatre, the cast of Mamma Mia. Um, so to everyone that has played a role in, you know, what was actually a really heartbreaking time, and I think it's about two years ago that this uh, performance was about to hit the stage, only days before it was due to open um, and the theatre went dark because of COVID. Uh, then they continued and committed to this and were able to deliver an exceptional performance. To all in our creative communities, I say thank you and congratulations.